Today we will be starting aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Carboxylic acids. Now, all in all these three functional groups, the reactions will depend upon one property. The property is that it has a polar carbon oxygen bond. Like if it is acetaldehyde, or if it is a ketone. or if it is a carboxylic acid. In all these three, one thing is common. CO group is common. So all the reactions and preparations will be based on the property of this carbonyl compound. In this carbonyl compound, what happens? Since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so a polarity exists. This is partially negative, this is partially positive. This is partially negative, this is partially positive. This is partially negative. This is partially positive. So if I write common form, then I would name it as carbonyl compounds. in carbonyl compounds there will be a carbon oxygen bond this side there will be one alkyl group and this side there can be anything x it could be alkyl group it could be oh it could be h now whatever addition or whatever elimination has to take place will take place here only now we'll show you with some example. Say for example, if carbonyl compound is aldehyde if it is reduced by giving lithium aluminium hydride then this will form alcohol this part will become alcohol and it will become R C O H H and H. It will become an alcohol. Now, if it is oxidized, using KMnO4 and NaOH then it will form R 
CO and this H will become OH. So this is an aldehyde. This is alcohol and this is carboxylic acid. Now if you make it undergo addition reaction, if it undergoes addition reaction, because double bond is there, so obviously there can be addition reaction. Say, if you give KCN to this, K plus and CN minus, then the potassium part, positive part will go to oxygen and CN will go and attach to carbon. So it will form O minus K plus here CN and here H was there. This compound will be called as cyanohydrin. It is potassium salt of Ciano hydrine. So this was a brief introduction about carbonates or carbonyl compounds. Now we'll again learn about this compound in the form of preparation properties and uses. So we'll see some methods of preparation of aldehydes. Preparation of aldehyde. First, by oxidation of alcohol like CH3, CH2, OH. If it is oxidized using KMnO4 and NaOH, it will form CH3, CHO. Second, by reduction of carboxylic acids, so you can reduce carboxylic acid CH3 COOH by giving reducing agent lithium aluminium hydride so it will form ch3 cho so cho can be written like this also Some other methods of repression we will see. Repression method number three.
by hydration of alkynes if it is paid to undergo hydration using hg2 plus h2so4 at 333 kelvin then it will form in all at first waters 1h will join over here double bond will be there itself 1 h will be here and another oh will be here so this has come from water isn't it now what happens this goes here this double bond goes here Okay, this this H will not, and this H is actually this H. Okay, initially this molecule would have been like this. One H was already there. This was this H. This H has come from. this h has come from this h and this h was there here itself so one h joins here and one oh joins here and after that this double bond this lone pair of electron forms double bond with this and it comes out and forms bond with h plus and this h plus comes out so it forms in all it is called as in all ethene all Okay, this is ethenol. Now, this ethenol will undergo tautomerism. This order was tautomerism. And now it forms CH, H, H, C single bond, H double bond, aldehyde. So it is called as Keto in all tautomerism. Why in all? Because it is ethenol. So, due to this ethenol and due to this carbonyl compound, they keep on changing their. structure dynamically so we call it as keto enol tautomerism
fourth by dehydrogenation of alcohols if it is dehydrogenated in presence of copper and 573 kelvin it will form it will form ch3 cho Now there is a name reaction again. Rosenmund synthesis. In this we take acyl chloride. and we give palladium palladium has ability to keep hydrogen adsorbed on it so it acts as a catalyst now so that aldehyde does not become alcohol this catalyst is poisoned in surface chemistry we had studied about poisoning of catalyst so it is poisoned with baso4 so it forms if we will not use baso4 then this will form alcohol okay this will undergo extreme reduction and it can form alcohol or even toluene so partial reduction is done here here baso4 acts as a poison it acts as a poison or inhibitor and it is a catalyst so what will happen if baso4 is not used in rosenmund synthesis with PD 
and hydrogen and no inhibitor is given then it will form alcohol it will form benzyl alcohol okay so absence of BASO4 as inhibitor or poison leads to more reduced product. Sixth, maybe sixth process by reduction of nitriles or cyanides. If you take CH three CN. This is nothing but CH3 C triple bond N. Now, if you give hydrogen to this by giving tin and HCl, it forms SNCl4 and hydrogen gas. So, one hydrogen attaches to this. And another hydrogen attaches to this. So it forms CH3 C H double bond N H. Now, if you hydrolyze this, H plus in water or H3O plus. Then this will form CH3 CH. Here double bond oxygen will be there and NH2OH will come out. So this is the product. This is byproduct. What is the name of this byproduct? Hydroxylamine. This reagent is called as Sabatier Sandrin's reagent. Sabatier Sandrin's reagent. Seven
by reduction of esters say if i take ch3 co o ch2 ch3 to this if i add di isopropyl butyl aluminum hydride is called as dibal it is called as d i b a l and water full form of dibal is di isobutyl aluminum and then hydride if it is there so it is a hydride carrier acts as a hydride carrier and reduces the carbonyl compound so it will form ch3 co h plus ch3 ch2 oh this is the product this is by product now if it is aluminum 1 2 and 3 one side hydrogen hydride and another side isobutyl so this is called as di isobutyl aluminum hydride so this is a hydride donor so acts as a reducing agent eight itard reaction in this we take toluene and we make it to react with chromyl chloride cr o2 cl2 you know that chromium compounds are good oxidizing agent and to dissolve this organic compound we take organic solvent carbon disulfide it is just an organic solvent or rather we can say covalent solvent better to say covalent solvent
so it will be formed CH one oxygen here another oxygen here CR CR OH OH CL CL okay now this is a very big bulky group so it tries it always tries to leave this group okay it is too bulky for a chain to be carried it is too bulky for any carbon bond to be carried as a result it tries to leave it comes over here and leaves and this bond comes over here and leaves so as a result what is formed plus byproduct this byproduct in organic chemistry is not important to be written this is the product okay So in the next class, topics will be aldol condensation, crossed aldol condensation, Three, Kanijaro reaction, fourth, crossed Kanijaro reaction. That's all for today. Thank you.